we gon' get, we gon' get, we go, we go, we gon' get, we gon' get, we gon' get, we go, we go, we gon' get right into this video, right into this video, right into this video, right into this video. everybody it's your girl Jisa and I'm back with another loving video for y'all today so today's video as you guys can tell by the title it is a story time on me pretty much trying out for the Raptors dance pack um, here in Toronto so uh, before we get into the video don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to comment and y'all know cannot forget to subscribe now nah, okay? so those three things just do that before we proceed into this video okay so I'm gonna sit here for like probably about what, two minutes and I'll give you guys some time to savage savage Savage. Can you sit down, please? <coughs> Savage. 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 All right. <coughs> hey. Savage. All right. So. Like I said, sorry about that, that was my dog. I'm gonna sit down here for about two minutes and just give you guys some time to pretty much figure it out and to like the video, to comment, to subscribe. Well, the commenting part can come at the end of the video. But you can definitely like and subscribe. So, I'm gonna give you guys two minutes. Okay, so we're just gonna get right into. Anyway, so the audition. Sorry. <coughs> Any more? <coughs> Savage. <coughs> Savage. The audition for yeah. Are you done? But um yeah, the Raptors Dance Pack audition usually takes place on um, a Saturday. Um, and pretty much the procedure was they usually send out like um, like a post on like Instagram or whatever. And you usually um, either pre-register or you go the day of and you, pre um, and you register. Um, with my situation, um, being as I actually seen the the post probably about two weeks prior um i was able to pre-register for the audition so the pre-registering process was pretty much just sending in a headshot of yourself and um your resume so once you sent in your resume and your headshot um they will pretty much email you back confirming that they've received it and that you're pre-registered and on the day you pretty much have to bring the copy of the headshot that you sent them or either a different headshot copy whichever one you want to bring and you have to bring your copy of your resume with you so that came and finished 
the day pretty much came there was no like dress code you were supposed to wear shoes that didn't scuff the gym because their gym is is the right after the practice area where they pretty much practice like anything like dance routines everything like pretty that. much just dress um in clothing that you felt comfortable something that showed your personality and um that you were able to move around and easily pretty much um but yeah like it was pretty it was pretty simple like the dress code was there was no really a dress code like that but it was pretty simple it was just dress to your comfort pretty much um so that morning came you were supposed to be there for 11 o'clock um that morning and i was pretty much there probably around 10 30 10 30 10 15 um i was pretty early i sat down there um in the process of like sitting down there everybody was like stretching warming up doing um their little stretch what what I um but yeah, everybody was pretty much warming up, getting prepared for like going in there. And in the process of that, I ended up meeting someone that I know from within my neighborhood. I ended up meeting her. So we pretty much chilled before like going into the room. And then they called us, they pretty much told us to line up. Now let me tell y'all, when I say everybody lined up so quick. <laughs> Everybody lined up so quick. Like that line, when I tell you everybody was scattered, like there were people. When I tell you that everybody just came together as one and like formed that line so quick, there was like security guard at the door. He was pretty much making sure like there was no weapons in your bag or whatever. So you kind of have to open up your bag and before you walk in, they just check it. But like, they were like digging through your bag or whatever. They pretty much just like checked your bag, like just looked and said, "All right, you can go." It was just a simple check. So after you walked in, the escalators weren't working. You have to walk upstairs. More cardio, more workout for me. Didn't like it whatever so we walked up like two flights of stairs we went into the practice gym actually no we were walking up two flights of stairs and before we got into like the whole routine part we had to register again like the paper form of the registration so you just have to sign um this paper just to confirm like if ever you were to be chosen whatever if you wanted to be a part of the other league or whatever you wanted to be a part of and pretty much after like doing um that you went back in a second line to get like your number and whatever and like to submit the app the the forms uh, if you weren't pre-registered you started off in the hundred and like twenty something number so you're like way up there and if you were pre-registered you started from like one my number was like 31 um to be honest I still have my number um but yeah my number was 31 and then they called all the girls in the room so the numbers that were allowed in the room was for one from was from one to 141 that was the amount of girls that were actually allowed in the room at the time um so Pretty much in the process of in the process of like going into the room, everybody pretty much lined up in the room. Um, we all stayed in the room, and then um, they started to. There was there was three girls. I'm not gonna say their names. Let's say one's name was Keisha. Another name was Ari. And then there was two gentlemen. Um, let's say Dorian. What was the name of that just Ari, Keisha. Ari, Keisha, Dorian. Okay, let's say Ari, Keisha, Luke, and Dorian. Okay. And then there were like two judges. Okay. 
So Ari and Keisha, they were like the dancers. They're like the head dancers, dance um, co- te- like not dance teachers, but like they were the ones that actually showed us the routine. Um, they were already on the team. And the funny part of this story was that the people that are actually on the team, they have to re-audition again to pretty much secure their spot. Ooh, but sorry. <coughs> yeah. So the people that are on the team pretty much have to, like, re-audition to kind of, like, show that they still either are qualified to be on the team um, whatever. We all got into the room. They started to show us the routine. Mind you, they didn't do it like a prior warm up or whatever. They just started right into the routine. They started to show us um, four sets of six. No, four sets of eight. Sorry. It was a dance routine of four sets of eight. After they showed us the routine, they pretty much um, showed it to us slow first. Then they picked up the pace and they showed it to us. They showed it to us probably about six times six times and like every time we did it they would rotate who was in the front um to the back so the people in the back came to the front and people from the front went to the back so it was always rotated to give people time to kind of learn the routine um so in that process because of the amount of people that were in the room i personally would say it was hard to see the routine because, like I said, there was a hundred and let's see, the last person was a hundred. It was the last number was a hundred and forty-one. So that's to tell you how many people were crammed up in that gym, and how hard it was to kind of like see the the dance routine. And so, um, they showed us the dance routine. Pretty much Ari, she was she she has like curly hair or whatever. She pretty much showed us the routine first, like the first set of the routine, and then Daquan came and showed us the second part of the routine, and then Ashanti, I don't even remember the name that I called it, but let's say Shanti, Ashanti did the third um, part of the routine, Um, and then the judges pretty much sat down and watched everything that was going on. Um, so after, like, all that was done, they pretty much sectioned up in, like, groups. So you had to dance in front of them, um, in groups of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in groups of eight. So, like, let's say one started off in the front, two is in the back, three is in the front, four is in the back, five is there, six is there, seven is there, and eight is in the back. So it was like a diagonal situation. No, did I say diagonal? It was like a zigzag diagonal lord jesus it was like a zigzag um formation um that you were like standing up in and then after all that was like done they started to play the music you pretty much danced and showed your personality you did the routine and then you did a freestyle at the end to kind of like show your personality and your the, any tricks that you can bring you can tumble cartwheel flip whatever as long as you could do that you have to show them anything that's just unique about yourself um now my routine to be honest with you i will say that i did mess up because let's just say i wasn't prepared like i said prior in the beginning of the video i seen this ad i seen the post about two weeks prior the audition so I actually didn't get enough time to actually um, properly prepare my body for the audition and like gain stamina to keep up with um, the audition because that like the when it was my turn, my first dance part went okay. I did very well. The second part, I had no energy. Like when I say I had no energy. I could not keep up with what I did the first time. I was so tired. I was out of breath. I couldn't do it. So in that in that process it ruined my chances because I didn't have the same energy. It kind of ruined my chances of like showing what I actually have and I'm capable of doing. Um, but yeah. So after that was done, we went through the all the girls in 
like I said, eight people dancing at a time, showing the judge what you're capable of doing. After you're done, you're pretty much supposed to line up, and um, you're pretty much supposed to line up and just stand still. And they watch you, and they pick up your picture or whatever, and they put it aside on who's going to be accepted and who's not going to be accepted and who's going to be called back or whatever, whatever. They were ordered for the second audition, which was around 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. That was the time that you get a call back. You come back, and you dance with the guys, and then um, you show again. They give you another set um, routine, four sets of six, and then you dance that. And then you show a little freestyle at the end, show what you're capable of doing, whatever you're capable of doing, you have to show it. Um, and yeah, so um, after I pretty much lined up in the row with the, guy, with the girls, they pretty much selected which picture was going, which picture was going. And then they said, thank you guys, and you stepped aside, and then the other girls pretty much came and performed next. After, like, that was all done... Um, after like all the girls were in that room at the time were done dancing, they pretty much um called out all the numbers that were accepted in like for the callback. They pretty much called out the numbers that were gonna be capable of being called back, and they had to stay there until about four o'clock, five o'clock for the callback to come back and do it again. So, to be honest, I already knew that I wasn't gonna get a callback because, like I said, I like my energy was down like I did not have I did not have the energy so they called so like what they did was it kind of confused you so like they called one two three four five and six they called all those girls back okay then they went like 14 21 then they came back to like 12 18, then they went up to like 32, then they came back to like, let's say, 17, then they went back to like 9, so they kind of like jumbled up the numbers to kind of like scare you in a way, so like, it was more like, so I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna get it, 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 whatever, so they go, they call the number 29, like I said, my number was 31, so they go 29, 30, 32. I said, oh hell no. Oh hell to the no, no, no. Hell no. To the no, no, no. Anyways, yeah. So I was like, y'all did not just chip me. Y'all did not just, y'all did not just, like, bypass my whole number. Y'all did not just do that. No. That's a life, mom. James, fine. That's a life. That's a life, mom. James. You it. You up, because now you. Like, y'all call 29, 30, and we'll jump straight to 32? Y'all know, y'all can't count? Y'all can't count. That's to my check. It's 29, 30, 31, 32. You're missing a whole number in between, hunty. You're missing a whole number in between, boo boo. Just, what, what happened to 31? Wait, it wasn't good enough for you? 31 wasn't good enough for you? Like, th 31 wasn't. It wasn't good enough for you. So yeah. So pretty much like they jumped over like 31 and then went straight to 32. Then they went to like 45. Came back down to like 37. It was like a whole conjumbled car. What? But yeah. Anyway. So yeah. When like we realized that like they didn't call our number or whatever. Me and my friend. We pretty much, all the girls that didn't get called, you pretty much just left right away. Like, you just went home. All the girls that had the callback, they went with, like I said, they'll go with, like, um, I really don't remember the other name that I said. But if I keep switching the name, it's because one person particularly, I can't remember the name that I keep saying for that person. Like, I know Ari and the other dude's name that I gave them, but let's just say, 
Ashanti. Let's say I think that's what I gave her. A good. But yeah. Um yeah, so Ashanti pretty much they went with her. Whoever had the callback or whoever got their numbers called out, they went with Ashanti and they stayed with her until let's say four o'clock or five o'clock or whatever. Um and then um while we were leaving there was like a whole other set of girls outside waiting to come in um into the gym for the for their turn to actually go through the audition so oh like to be honest it was very quick paced routine it was a very 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 quick paced routine the dance was actually um let me actually see if i can actually look up the song and who it was by the dance was actually to the song Little Mix Bounce Back. That was actually the song that we actually danced to. Um, we only did probably up until the chorus. So it was from the intro to the chorus is what we danced up onto and then that was it. Um, so yeah. So, pretty much after we left, um, whatever happened after that, I'm not too sure whatever happened after that, um, but up until my part, all I know is I got the boot, and I was at home, and yeah, but best believe that for next year, hunty, boo boo, darling, yeah. I will be coming back bigger, stronger, better than ever. Okay? I'll be coming back bigger, stronger, better than ever. Okay? I will be getting my body right. You know what I'm saying? Pick up my energy, you know, that I'm able to keep dancing or whatever. Like, I have a good body like as you can see like my body is pretty I'm pretty much in shape it's just I don't have the energy no more, you know you know when you get to that stage you just yeah to be honest once you come out of high school you start working nobody cares about getting healthy like as much as I love my salads and I love my fruits or whatever I don't work out I don't exercise I don't do things like that to keep my adrenaline going like I don't I don't do stuff like that um but yeah so pretty much that was my audition that was my fail audition mind you I've actually never been to an audition I've been to like singing audition actually no I lied I've been to singing competitions um, which I've won um, but like a dance audition n I've never been to a dance audition um, I've taught dance class before stepping hip hop I used to teach that but that was like when I was younger now who is time for that not mine not me not I not I um, I don't have time. Marsha, let me not say I don't have time for that. I got other responsibilities to deal with at this moment. Um, so yeah. That was my audition. That was my fail audition for the Raptors Dance Path. You know what I'm saying? Um, I will be trying again next year. Hopefully, if God spares me life to see next year. God spare my life to see for next year. I would definitely be going next year again to try out. Um... I would definitely be in more better shape, definitely learn some other things, join an, um, a class where I can kind of like pick up some energy, um, but yeah, other than that, don't forget to please like and tell me what you guys think about this video, um, if you guys like my hairstyle, you know what I'm saying, girl did your thing this morning, you know what I'm saying. If you like this hairstyle, you want to see how I did this hairstyle, I'm just comment down below. Let me know if you like to see this hairstyle procedure and how I did it. 
um yeah how i created this bun my hair is not long but there's ways that you can finesse to make your hair look like you have a lot of hair you know what i'm saying you know you don't have to have all the hair in the world but you can finesse a look you know what i'm saying so yeah let me know if you guys would like to see that down below let me know what other videos you guys would like to see let me know let me know let me know but yeah so that's all for today and i'm gonna see my way out there and that's what it is um thank you guys for watching hope you guys like comment and subscribe on this video you know what i'm saying and y'all be seeing me for another video to come your girl's been slacking but she gonna come back bigger and better okay this is 2019 your girl's gotta get her shit together and we're going to start posting these videos again, okay? That's just that. I'm not going to be bothered with it no more. Like, if I got to do what I got to do and I got to repost what I got to repost, and I'm going to post what I got to do and then I'm going to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Love you guys. Thank you guys for watching.